guys. Oh, I am abusing the everything. Just one last check of my drawers. Pretty sure that's right. What are we doing today? What is this video? That's right. Oh, wait, no, no. I need this. Okay. Yep, that's right. Um, This one. Nope, we're good there. In here. Oh, I'm not throwing away anything in the palette drawer. <laughs> that's right. Today is my first ever empties and throwaways video. Um, I'm going to start doing these at the end of every month. Um, <laughs> Uh, I know I, I'm going to do a favorite videos too, but I didn't keep up with them in the past years, but this year I feel like I can do it. I can do every month a favorite and a throwaway video. So there probably will only be one or two things, but this is from like a long time of things that need thrown away. So we're doing it. Um, first couple things I want to talk about, I'm just going to quickly show you and tell you why I'm throwing them away or why they're empty, you know, give you that final review. Um, <coughs> just pulling a couple things out. Okay. Mm, I don't want to throw this away, but it's my, oh, my broken Pacifica shadow it was unfixable because it was two different shades and so when it fell apart it was like unless I wanted to mix those two shades this is not not going back together and this was actually I broke it while filming a video like you guys saw it it was during the really quick review of this uh, such a sad day I will link that video down below not so you can watch it break but so you can know my review of this product I loved this a lot and I'm sad that it broke um, empty, I emptied my Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. When I think of primers, I think that, like, silicone feeling stuff that fills in your pores and makes everything beautiful. This just made my skin pink and, like, shiny, like, glittery. It was ridiculous. I would put this on. I don't know if I can get a little... Okay, I can get a little on. I don't know if it's going to show you anything. But it's got, like, little fine pieces of, like silver glitter in it you can't see it but if you did just imagine it's fine fine pieces of glitter just imagine that as your primer like if you're gonna put foundation over top now it's mixed with the glitter all over your face no fun um i think that's the only thing that's actually technically empty everything else is just a throwaway i have my kat von d immortal lash it's just really dry and i really don't like this mascara so i'm throwing it away um just i feel it's unusable i also have my kat von d tattoo liner it's either empty it's not empty i showed you guys in a video it's not empty it's still got product in it but it's just oh so patchy and it's like impossible to get out unless you really, really, really press. Like, ooh. So, really frustrating. So, and you have to like wipe it off, and so it's all crusty on the sides of the cap. Ooh. Goodbye. Um, another cap, this is the, the Cat Von D product, is my Puro Amore pencil. And I guess I could sharpen it, but um, I have a larger version of this, so I don't really care. But it just snapped right in half. I think a chair got on top of it and I can't get the cap off so it's not like I can like sharpen it and put the cap back on like it's stuck in the cap. <sighs> What's a girl to do? But like I said I have two full size of this product so it's okay I'll let it go. The Bare Minerals 5-in-1 um, BB Cream eyeshadow base thing. It's patchy. It's kind of gross. I don't like using it. It's ooh, like rubbing mud on your eyes. Yep. Any of these products that I reviewed, I will leave that review down below and you can click on it and see what I thought about it in the past. I never, ever, ever used this Wet Icon Wet n Wild pencil. Um, it's just too hard to use in my waterline. It just it didn't go on at all and like it really takes a hard press to get it even on my hand like that so no um i'm not gonna wipe my hand clean okay um the elf cream eyeliner i 
decided to throw this away. I was going to do it in a swap, but it's I was I decided to throw it away because it cracked on the bottom. What? Um and then also it's like this purple with like pink glitter in it. It was a pretty good product, but I didn't I just didn't like it. It was patchy if you tried to use the eyeshadow base and then it was a terrible terrible lip cream eyeliner. So another broke victim. It is impossible to use this lip gloss now. It gets all the Ugh, just the cap snapped from the, like, with the twisty part inside. No! So I can't fix it, and it's just, it comes out all gloopy because there's no stopper, and... Whoops. The last product I have is the e.l.f. The under eye concealer and highlighter. This is like a four out of five product. This is actually really great. I really recommend this. Not so much the highlighter side. It's like a white, creamy, just shimmery part. It's not so much a highlighter as it is just some white, sh shimmery cream. You can see it there. It's not so great. I mean, it's not fascinating or anything. But the under eye concealer really good. It's like this salmon pink color. It's really good for concealing under your eyes. No way! No way! Yeah, but it was a really great under eye concealer. You can see it right here. See? Ooh. Yeah, it was pretty great. And now, oh, oh, it smells like mold and I'm not gonna, mm -mm. I'm not gonna put that on my eyes. So, going in the trash thanks so much for watching if you guys have anything that you had to throw away recently or that just a product you didn't like let me know because then i won't buy that product because you all made sure to let me know so i hope this is enjoyable if you guys want to keep seeing this every month give it a like and leave a comment down below thanks so much for watching i'll see you soon